That was too easy. Let's go. Ooh. Hey guys. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to film a video for you about what I'm doing to prep for this baby boy. Last minute prep. Some of it's self-care, like getting a pedicure, and then I'm also, I also prepped some food earlier this week. Really practical stuff. So I did some lashes already. This is me from the future, by the way. <laughs> I did some lashes, I got a pedicure. They're kind of wild. They're just way bigger than I'm used to. So this boy is due in four days on Saturday. And if you are new, I have one little girl. She is four years old and I have a little boy on the way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> jump and jump and turn around the super silly tango. You ready, little stinker? You gonna have a great day at school? Yeah. Yes. You gonna ask to sing Lil Pig? Yeah. Lil Pig, let me in. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello friends, good morning. I'm struggling. It's giving foggy zombie vibes. That's what I'm feeling today. But it's on, it's on brand because we're ready for spooky season here in this house. Today I need some help in the eyelash department. I love these Lilac Street lashes. They last me like a week and then they take like no time at all to put on and I feel fabulous after I have them on. I'm either gonna do the Hollywood 14 millimeters or I've never tried these ones but they're very similar to my favorite style. So this is the Prism 14 millimeter. I tried the Midnights which are very similar and those are my favorite. But I really need to eat something. I think that's why I feel like a zombie right now because I had Captain Crunch this morning and my blood sugar is dropping. So I'm having chicken nuggets. It's desperate. Yes. <laughs> it's not a gourmet meal, but you can't win them all. I have a pedicure appointment in an hour, so I gotta hurry up and eat, put these lashes on, and hopefully bring myself to life. Here's the before. Me. So these eyelashes are a lot more than I Mommy. like. That's okay. Okay, let me unbuckle this silly. <laughs> Hi, cutie pie. Show me your outfit that you picked out today. Oh, it's so cute. Let me see your shoes. What shoes did you pick? Oh, girl, those are so cute. You're so stylish. I think it might be baby time. I thought baby brother was coming last night. Yeah. And I think he might come tonight. Really? Yeah. My contraction started about 2 a.m. and then they tapered off about 4.15. So, and they were consistent that whole time. I went ahead and just took a shower and got ready. Finished like packing up last minute things in my hospital bag. My car is still a mess. Like I've got trash. It needs to be vacuumed. So I don't want to bring him home in a filthy car, but I have a doctor's appointment today at 1.15 and we'll see how that goes and um, I'll have them check me because I am for sure dilating but my contractions have stopped for now. But I can tell my body is preparing for labor and so I had Zach take the day because if my water happens to break or something it's gonna be zero to a hundred <laughs> real quick. <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go about our day and take her to school and keep you guys updated. Let's get this place cleaned for a baby. Oh, gross! Okay, Rose, what are we doing? We're washing our car. <laughs> I need to get all these white. Yeah, what do you have here? Um, um, soap. And the squeegee and the sponges, two sponges and one bucket, and some sprays. So let's do it. <laughs> and we also need what? 
I was definitely gonna pay someone to do this, but uh, small town problems, couldn't find anyone to do it. And the car wash is out of service, so we're just gonna kind of clean, because I am having contractions. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, get to work, girl. This thing is filthy, mommy. It is filthy. <laughs> Significant improvement. Seats are still drying. But that feels much better. Not perfect, but I don't have the energy to make it perfect, so take what I can get. Now I just gotta install the car seat base and I'll be good to go. Hello. I'm trying to prep to have a newborn. And so I'm trying to set myself up for success here. I'm going to prep freezer meals. This is the start of my last minute prep for baby. Right now, I just have a big bucket of meat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I sliced up some roast really thinly. A roast and a half. It took me forever. You can use frozen. You can order that from Walmart, just a frozen, but you can order three bags and just dump, dump, dump. One here, one here, one here. One for tonight and then two to freeze. I'm making Philly cheese steaks. I've never done this recipe before, but I will link the videos down below that I'm following. I'm also making some Hawaiian meatballs. I just ordered these off of Amazon. I'm excited to try these out. Also from Amazon, if you guys do not have a chopper, you can call it a Vidalia chopper, I think. If you don't have one of those, it is so perfect for a meal like this. Um, so easy to clean, you can throw it in your dishwasher. And then I wrote on these ahead of time. I've never been a big freezer meal gal. I've never experimented with like dump and go, crock pot, instapot meals, but I have a feeling we're gonna get along great because I'm the type of mom who it's like four o'clock and I'm like, oh, what are we gonna have for dinner? Every time. I forget my responsibilities and it's okay. We usually figure it out. Okay, <laughs> that was too easy. Let's go. Ooh! I mean, the prep work took longer, but you only have to wash your cutting board once, you only have to wash your chopper once, all your utensils one time, and you're prepping all these meals. I might be onto something here. Are you recording already? Mm hmm. Sir. <laughs> Man. It smells so good. It does not look like much. The flavor is pretty good. It needs salt and pepper. I broiled the bread. Well, Zach did for me for two minutes, right, honey? Mm -hmm. Just to get it crisped up. Ooh, ooh. So I want your initial reaction, honey, because you're the food critic here in this relationship. This is on a brioche bun, which is not the right bun. <laughs> Pretty good? Mm. All right, moment of truth. It looks pretty dang good. That's pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. I'm so shook. Me by itself isn't like amazing, but with the bun and cheese. Mm -hmm. well, it's good by itself. It is good by itself. Okay, so recipe number one is approved. I feel like the quality of the meat's gonna make a huge difference. Go. 